another important command here is tracking function calls. Uh, this is this is a good starting point for uh, debugging processes. For example, if we want to uh, debug uh, some uh, user mode applications, uh, we don't know where to start. We don't know how to uh, examine the target application. Uh, we could use uh, this uh, track command. We will see some examples. Uh, this is a really a helpful command in case you want to reverse for example some of the internals of windows to see how how, how they work internally this is a really good starting point you should uh, and it's highly recommended to configure the symbol files before using this command because it get it gives you a better results uh, the function names uh, it, it tries to uh, resolve the function names and find the function names and if you don't use the uh, a symbol server then it just gives you some addresses this command uh, uses the same mechanism uh, as uh, instrumentation step in that i previously talked about it and it just traces for calls call instruction and read instruction recursively so the application will be executed and the application will get a chance to get executed in the target system the first entry, we will see some example. The first entry is the calling address the where, where it's called. And the second uh, address is the return where the function is actually returned. You, we can specify number of uh, instructions to get to get executed in the target debuggy, or we could use the default uh, behavior after this this command. This is a view of the track command, and as you can see, it maps the uh, function uh, addresses to the corresponding names, and it gets get, it gets the names from the symbol PDB files. And uh, it's also uh, worth to note that uh, the track command is able to trace uh, function calls uh, starting from user mode to kernel mode and kernel mode to user mode, uh, just like the instrumentation step in or I command.